Francis Ngannou has expressed his desire for a rematch, while Oleksandr Yusik, eagerly awaiting a bout with Tyson Fury, has reminded the British heavyweight that their clash is set for this December. Despite Tyson Fury, who endured a tough encounter with Ngannou, hinting that he's concluding his fights for the year, he assures fans of his return to the ring next year. Fury has also agreed to a rematch with Ngannou, and Oleksandr Usyk has responded to Tyson Fury's decision to avoid the December fight. What did the Ukrainian champion have to say? And what's the latest discussion surrounding Tyson Fury accepting a rematch with Ngannou? Hey, greeting. My friend Tyson Fury, I'm ready for it for December. You. Are you ready? The boxing world is still grappling with the aftermath of Tyson Fury's controversial split decision victory over Francis Ngannou. Labeled by many as the robbery of the year, the closely contested match saw Fury narrowly secure a win against the MMA powerhouse. Despite knocking Fury down, Ngannou was denied the victory, sparking widespread outcry from fans and fellow fighters alike. Fans have been clamoring for a rematch between both fighters, with Ngannou also expressing his desire for the same. It appears that Tyson Fury might eventually agree to a rematch, despite previously stating that there was no rematch clause in the contract. This development implies that the Fury vs. Usyk title fight could be postponed to the first half of next year, disappointing the Ukrainian boxer. Usyk has responded to this situation, and we've included his comments at the end of this video. But before that, let's delve into the latest discussions about a rematch between Ngannou and Fury. The desire for a rematch is foremost on Ngannou's mind after his unexpected defeat, as he is eager to prove that the judge's split decision was flawed. Ngannou's wish for a rematch goes beyond reclaiming a title or rectifying a loss. It is a quest to correct what he perceives as an injustice. The rematch is what I want next the most, Ngannou stated, reflecting on his options from the first fight. Despite the uncertainties inherent in boxing and the skepticism stemming from a prolonged period of inactivity and recovery from injury, Ninganu believes this time has provided him with invaluable lessons. Reflecting on the entire journey from the beginning of the camp to the lead-up to the fight, he sees it as a wealth of experience that will undoubtedly benefit him in the second bout. Ngannou's initial encounter with Fury was marred by controversy, with many, including Ngannou himself, feeling that the decision was unjust. I think it was stolen from me. They robbed my result, he expressed, harboring a sense of victory and proving his doubters wrong despite the official outcome. This feeling of an undeserved defeat has ignited his determination for a rematch, where he aims to leave no room for doubt in the upcoming bout. The French fighter also delved into the mental toll the decision took on him, expressing a sense of unfair treatment. Nganou lamented, highlighting inconsistencies in the enforcement of rules during the match. He recalled moments where he perceived the system working against him, citing an unnoticed illegal elbow and a biased scorecard that favored Fury heavily. Addressing one of the judges, he questioned, Which fight were you watching? Nganu's perspective on the politics of boxing reflects a combination of disillusionment and resolve. He views himself as potential collateral damage in a flawed system. While he may not pursue an appeal due to the complexities involved, he is resolute about bringing attention to the issues within the sport. This is not right, it's corrupt. It's humiliating for the sport and things like this shouldn't be allowed, he declared. Despite the setback, Usyk's competitive spirit remains unbroken. He asserted, I'm a competitor. I'm a champion. I have that thing in me that always wants me to win a fight. His current focus is on a rematch, where he intends to leverage the experience gained and the lessons learned to secure a victory that unequivocally belongs to him. Despite Ngannou expressing his desire for a rematch, Tyson Fury has responded, indicating that he is open to facing the MMA heavyweight champion again. In a post-fight interview, the British boxer told TNT Sports that a rematch was likely. He stated, No, he was what I thought he would be. I thought he would have a puncher's chance like the rest of them. Listen, he was a good fighter, and we probably have a rematch down the line somewhere. Who would have thought it? However, Tyson Fury has not specified when the rematch will take place. However, 
it's likely that the rematch will not happen immediately. It might occur after Fury has engaged in other fights, including his heavyweight title bout against Oleksandr Usyk. A potential twist to this rematch could exist given the Fury's history of not playing fair. There could be a strategic condition favoring Tyson Fury in the rematch, such as a decision to contest the bout at a lower weight class that significantly benefits Fury. If, if I have listened to the media and all the so-called boxing experts, oh, it's an easy fight, it's a mismatch, it's not worth watching, then it, it, I wouldn't have uh, wouldn't been able to win that fight. Given the way he was dominated by Nganu, there's a possibility he might insist on the fight taking place at a lower weight to avoid a repeat of being overwhelmed. Greetings, my friend Tyson Fury. Are you ready for December 23rd? Speaking of Oleksandr Yusik, the Ukrainian has once again reminded Tyson Fury about their scheduled fight in December 2023. Yusik appears confident and has affirmed his readiness to take on the challenge posed by Fury. However, he may be in for some disappointing news, as there is a high likelihood that the heavyweight title bout could be postponed until next year. Yusik's promoter, Alexander Krasyuk, recently confirmed that the undisputed heavyweight championship fight with WBC champion Fury is now scheduled for February 2024. Kuke states that the main focus is to ensure that both fighters are adequately prepared for this crucial bout. While Cook would have preferred the original December 23rd date, he acknowledges that when a fighter isn't ready to go, it cannot be forced. Fury's team decided to move the date due to the extensive training camp he had undergone for his fight with Francis Ngannou. They wanted him to have sufficient rest before commencing preparations for the anticipated clash with Usyk. Alexander Krasyuk expressed his confidence in the upcoming Tyson Fury vs. Oleksandr Usyk heavyweight undisputed clash. He stated that Usyk is fully ready for the fight, emphasizing his assurance in Usyk's capabilities. He said, He is absolutely prepared, and he knows how to handle Tyson. That's why I feel confident. That's why I feel relaxed. The only thing that I'm really concerned about is making this fight happen. In the contract, the date was set for December 23rd, but Krasyuk highlights the importance of common sense and reason. He said, if a fighter isn't ready to go, you cannot make him. Krasyuk emphasized the need to stay flexible and relaxed. The new date has already been settled and Krasyuk mentioned that it will be announced next week, expressing hopefulness in the announcement process. Hopefully this date doesn't face further delays because fans are growing weary of the fury Usyk matchup. Many no longer see them as the top two fighters in the heavyweight division, perceiving Usyk and Fury as two older fighters in their mid-30s meeting for a payday courtesy of the Saudis and viewing it as a cash-out for their retirement. It wouldn't be surprising if both athletes decide to retire after 2024. When asked about his perspective on Tyson Fury's recent fight against Francis Ngannou, Krasyuk remarked, Karma in action. When you treat your opponent with disrespect, when you overlook your opponent, sometimes things happen. He acknowledged that it was an unfortunate night for their fighter last weekend. Krasyuk mentioned that the only man who remains skeptical of Tyson Fury is Oleksandr Usyk. According to Usyk, he believes Fury was playing a game during his fight with Nganu and wasn't taking it seriously. Usyk anticipates that when Fury steps into the ring with him, he will be at his best. In Usyk's view, Fury's mind games were a tactic to divert attention from his preparations. In our opinion, however, Fury would never intentionally deliver a performance that tarnishes his image. The truth is, Fury has aged, and he couldn't employ his mauling tactics to lean on Nganu and tire him out, as he had done against previous opponents over the last three years of his career. This, coupled with his lack of form, contributed to the challenges he faced in the recent bout. Fury fell short against Nganu, and the delay in the title clash has likely disappointed Usyk. However, it appears that Usyk has set aside the frustration from the proposed December 23rd date and is looking ahead to the rescheduled fight in February. Despite his eagerness to face Fury, Usyk recognizes that a bout with an unprepared Fury wouldn't be enjoyable or competitive. He's willing to wait a few more months before stepping into the ring with his opponent. Anticipate more verbal jabs between the two until the fight finally takes place in February. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. 
And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.